Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we're going to talk about celestial objects. Well, the one I printed. You guys remember, I printed the moon. So this was printed on the Ender 2. That is my moon. Or our moon, the one up there. I decided I want to go bigger. Now you guys remember that educational video I did on the layers and technical overhangs with multiple perimeters and layers on 3D printing? Well, that became important on this print because I wanted to make it hollow because I intend to cut open the top and use this as a lampshade to put it on to light it up to hang it from the ceiling and light it up I think that would be cool looking and so I have to have it hollow if there's infill inside the shadow of the infill is going to shine through you can see that on the pumpkin video a few days ago where you can see the the glowing light shines and lights up as a shadow of the infill so I want no infill so when you scale something up that creates a problem you're scaling up the model, but you're not scaling up your filament. You're still laying down a 0.2 millimeter thick by 0.4 millimeter wide layer of filament, but you're scaling the model up. And as you saw in my video, as you angle part of the model, part of the infill layer overhangs the previous layer. As you get more and more of an overhang on a bigger and bigger model, pretty soon some of the layers of your filament have nothing under them at all. So you have to have sufficient number of perimeters to create sacrificial layers as you go up. And that's what I did to print this on the S4. <laughs> this took 90 plus 80, so 170 hours to print this. 160 to 170 hours, right around there. The one half took longer, I don't know why, I guess because there's more details in it. This half has fewer details, it's a little more barren, so it went a little faster. This is printed in two halves, so half sphere up, half sphere down. This was a layer shift during a filament change, like a dum-dum. I left without realizing the filament was almost out, didn't swap the filament myself, so I had to call home and walk somebody through doing that. And, well, there's a two millimeter shift. No big deal because that's actually the portion I'm gonna cut off in order to put a light and mount this to the ceiling. So this is pretty cool, probably shouldn't have done that. Only a little bit of glue holding this together. But there is my, the biggest I can make it. This is the largest that you can make one of these if you have a CR10 S4. So this is almost 400 millimeters across. So it's an almost 400 millimeter diameter moon or over 16 inches. That's pretty cool. I will have the link down below for the finger earth file used to create this. It's got all the creator, craters and valleys and plateaus and everything is on here. This is a very cool model update for projects I'm going to be working on. I'll be coming back to this in a future video when I light it up. You guys saw the fractal pyramid I did. And I also did a double sized one of that. The 200 millimeter fractal pyramid. This took 75 hours. This is in Prylines red copper filament. I'll link down below for that. It took 75 hours to print this and it is an actual vase mode print. Check this out. You can actually see it's actually all separate because it, this is a single extrusion. There is no retraction at all anywhere in this print. And there is no crossing open space anywhere in this print. It's a true vase mode. The guy who came up with that mathematical formula for this is a genius. The whole thing throughout, all inside, outside, every aspect of this model is a pyramid. It's all made of these little itty bitty pyramids throughout the whole entire model. And they just keep scaling up and scaling back down and scaling up and scaling back down. So I wanted to do an even larger one. Because I'd go up to 400 millimeters. So 100, 200, 400 millimeters. That's where the problem came in. 400 millimeter pyramid takes like 1.6 kilograms of plastic to do one. <laughs> and about 250 to 260 roughly hours to print it. It's a seven or eight day print. That's a big print. So I want to see if I could find somebody who would sponsor it, where I maybe make two of them. They'd get one, I'd get one of course, and they'd provide the plastic. Maker Geek said yes. So they are sending me a couple rolls of filament and we are going to make a massive giant 400 millimeter version of this fractal pyramid. And this thing is cool. This, this printed on the Ender 2, this printed on the CR-10S, the CR-10S4 will print the giant 400mm version, and 
as the suggestion from one of my viewers. They said, good clock for time lapse, because especially how big it is. So I got this. It says the day, the part of the day. So this says Tuesday evening, the time and the date. And so you'll be able to see this number going as the time lapse goes for the really big print. I don't think I can do that live. I, I don't think YouTube has any provision for doing a eight day live broadcast. I, I don't even know if that's possible. <laughs> and I don't even want to attempt to use the, that kind of bandwidth. But it'll be cool. I'll have a time lapse of the whole thing. I'll have little videos here and there of it and the final reveal. That's probably a month down the road because I'll have to set the printer up with no other projects, obviously, for 16 days to print two of these things. Unless, of course, they don't want one. Then I just print one. So we shall go from there. I'm going to be doing more and more project style videos, bigger style um, prints and projects, things that are more involved, things that are more interesting, that maybe. Um, you know, projects will be for things that everybody can do. Big things like this will be like, yeah, I don't want to do that, but I'd love to see somebody do it. Well, I've got a farm full of printers. Might as well use them and give you guys some cool stuff to look at when we do it. And we'll also get to see what happens when you make something like this that big. I mean, look how much this comes apart. Because it is an actual vase print. I wonder what the big 400 millimeter one's going to do. That's going to be pretty cool. You guys have a great day.